everybody. If you're looking a little tired, a little old, or just plain blah, it's time to get your glow back. And when beauty meets biology, you get beautiful skin. Here to show us how to do it, please welcome Christy Harris. Hello, Yay! Christy. All right. Um, you have done makeup for many, many years. Right. Uh, but and makeup can be used to cover up some things mm -hmm. and to enhance some other things, but it starts with a great foundation. Absolutely, it's your skin. And so many times, Deborah, you know, we think we need these potions and lotions to make us look younger, but we're not cleansing the skin well. Yeah. And those are just like setting on the skin surface. Right, let's take a look at a picture of you back in 2002. Oh my, so, yeah. Okay, so that was you back then. That was and 02. let's look at you. Okay, wow. you, you look brighter, younger, right there, and you attribute a lot of that to really getting down to the basics of right. treating your skin well. I've, I've done my skin care for, you know, ever, but eight years ago, I realized, too, that there are all the serums and all the things that have come out on the market. Yeah. You're like, why don't they work? Well, some of them do. Some of them may not work as well, but if you don't cleanse your skin well, that can't penetrate. It's almost like putting that on top of a Band-Aid. Yeah, you have some tips in terms of uh, cleansing. Use cool water, Cool for water, yes. In fact, we get over 10 billion new skin cells every day. Wow. So speaking of the Band-Aid, if we don't take those off every day, then they will build up and nothing will really work. So you need to cool the skin, not heat the skin. How many of us, you know, will take hot showers? You get out of the shower and your, feel, your face, you know, feels real dry. So you've got to cool the skin down so it will absorb moisture. Okay. And you've got to take the dead skin off so you cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize, and lock. Uh, one of the things that just shows you with this little demo, I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to show you how moisture will go into the sponge immediately. This is like your skin. You don't want oil to go in. You use moisture. you got to clean your skin so moisture will go in. And look how it goes wow. in. Wow. All right? Yeah. Now, you put on oil. You only want to put um, oil-based products on to lock in your moisture because oil will not penetrate into the skin. So I put this into the oil, and as you see, it won't penetrate. It's too large of a molecule. Huh. So the biology of the skin and the way the skin works is very necessary for you to understand the balance. This is not balanced. You've got to get more strand and you've got to keep it there. And if you think of a prune, you put it on a table, it, you know, you put it in water and it smooths out. But you put the prune in water and then you put oil over it, it stays smooth out. Ah, so the oil so, kind of locks yeah, it in. It locks exactly. It in. Okay. So you've got to get it in first and if you don't exfoliate daily and you can't use strong abrasives wow. because those are not made to use daily. I don't recommend alpha hydroxys and glycolic acids because it doesn't take that strong of a product to take your daily dead skin growth. Yeah, when you off. speak about uh, exfoliation, it's interesting. You'll see like a lot of men will have this nice smooth skin and we think how unfair, right. but a lot of men shave every day. And, and, and they exfoliate every day and it's not a fruit acid, it's not anything chemical that's doing it. And another thing, when you're taking off your uh, skin care, you want to wrap your washcloth in your hand like this and lightly pat it off. Don't go like this. There's so many tips that women really need to know or you're just abusing your skin and you're winding up with a drawer full of things that aren't giving yeah. you the results. Well, I started shaving. Is that bad? Yeah, no, you can. I <laughs> shave mine with a plain... That's another Yeah, segment. that's right. That's a whole other segment right there. Okay, because when you don't, that's when you get the whiteheads, the blackheads right. that keep coming back right. and you can't try to understand why it keeps coming back right. uh, because all that stuff is, is not locked in properly. Okay, so lock it in. You have morning steps and an evening routine. Let's talk about the morning steps. In the morning, all you have to do is we do a mint wash that, that cools your skin. Mm -hmm. So automatically it cools your skin. It takes off your night cream. And then, but, but you're feeling a real sensation of cool, so then you don't feel dry. Then we do a freshener, then we, and the freshener like bubbles up the skin. You know, have you ever burned anything in a pan yeah. and you let it soak uh -huh. and then you don't ruin the Teflon when you, you know, scour it? So you've got to soak your skin, so therefore you don't have to use a strong exfoliant. Very, very important. Yeah. Then when you exfoliate, then you put your moisture on, and then you lock it in with your uh, daytime makeup, yeah. or at night, you lock it in with your night cream. Okay, and so the evening steps, eye makeup removing uh -huh. pads, you need to get something that's sensitive to the eyes. You know what? It, the, if you ever tear, like, have you ever, you know, thought, why am I tearing? I tear A lot of it is yeah. because of the eye makeup remover that you're using, not ah. the eye makeup. Okay. Because it gets, it's the closest thing you get into your skin and your eye is your eye makeup. Yeah, and remover. a lot of these have detergents in them and right. fragrances right. in them that right. your eyes are sensitive right. to. Okay, yes. uh, cleansing lotions, you talked a little bit about that, fresheners, honey and almond exfoliant. You talked about not exfoliating with just anything. Right. I've done this honey and almond exfoliant for 35 years. 
and it takes a dead skin off just that day's dead skin. You have to do it every night though. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing that won't irritate your skin and allow that moisture. That's the difference that it really made in my skin as well as getting it really cleansed to get to get the serums really deep. Yeah. From time to time, uh, you come on the show to offer advice like right. this, and we actually had uh, someone that had a beauty question for you, so let's hear that beauty question. Hi, I was just wondering, as a busy mom of two, uh, multiples, um, what do you do to have as a makeup tip to remove the dark circles underneath your eyes? This one is a very popular question. The yes. dark circles things, which sometimes can be genetic. <laughs> right. Uh, and then that thin tissue under the eye. Right. But we have an audience member here who kind of had the, the same kind of question. Hi. So. <laughs> What's your name? Sally. 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 Where do we want to look? Right over here. Welcome, Sally. Well, you, it doesn't take twins to get dark circles. You know, a man can do that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but whatever, we all do have them. And it's a very quick fix. We do a face erase right underneath that eye area. And look how fast that is. And it's so easy and it blends. Even if wow. she doesn't want to wear makeup. Yeah, yeah. Look at the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, now, do you, Christy, do we make sure that it's a maybe a shade lighter than our skin, or do you try to match the well, skin? Well, this is called face erase, so it really works anywhere on the skin. You can even use it all over, yeah. but you don't. You want it to where it blends into the formula needs to blend into any skin tone and be universal. All right, so you that sell stays that? on all day. You this sell is that one of my bar? number one products I have had literally for 35 years. I started in the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Christy. Once again, thank you very much. You're welcome. You'll hear more of Christy's quick kisses throughout the month. Be sure to watch to get more makeup and skin health tips throughout the month of March. Christy has a special offer, too, that we want to talk about. Mention Great Day Houston, and you can get half off all Christy Harris services, which include eyebrow shaping, makeup application, and a whole lot more. Christy Harris Beauty Playground is located in the Michael Kemper Salon in Highland Village. The number is 713-367-8555, 713-367-8555, or you can find her on the web at ChristyHarris.com. They do my makeup. Up, and uh, all of our guests on the show. So thank you very much, thank Christy. You. The Houston weather takes a toll on your makeup. So what can you do to keep your eyeliner from melting off? Well, Christy Harris has a tip. Christy, oh. what can I do to keep my eyeliner from disappearing? The key is never to use a gel or a pencil for your eyeliner. If you'll notice exactly the application, he's putting it into the lash with the brush that's angled, and it stays there all day. You can make a thin or thick line, and it can look so natural. Christy Harris and Michael Kemper are giving one lucky mother and daughter a chance to win a head-to-toe makeover. The lucky winner will get a new hairstyle, makeup, clothes provided by Dillard's, and even glamour photos provided by Debbie Porter. Think you and your mom or daughter deserve a new look? If so, email us your picture and why you should win a mother-daughter makeover to GreatDayHouston at KHOU.com. We're picking our winner this week, so hurry and tune in April 28th to see the reveal. And again, you can pick those clothes from Dillard's. By the way, Nygaard is having a really special week this week. Go by there and uh, pick out the outfit that you might want to have for your makeover if you win it. And before we go, Leonard, now that you're dressed like a princess, it's time to complete the package with some royal makeup tips. As we all know, Houston's humidity can take a toll on a girl's makeup. For some expert help, Christy Harris has solutions. So the weather's warming up and I have a problem with my foundation fading. Christy, can you help me? The most important thing, women, is to know that if you're wearing a water-based foundation, the water evaporates and all you have left on your skin is powder. We're doing a non-reflective film foundation and it stays on all day. It's locking in your moisture, but it also gives you a flawless look. And you never get the perfect color match in one bottle. So we do the non-reflective and then we do a liquid tint that we blend into the skin and then you can get your color levels. Very important to understand that a non-reflective bounces the light off and it stays on your skin with the formulation. Powders will always come off as well as water base. Thank you, Christy. Tune in Thursday to see Christy Harris and the rest of our glam squad as they transform our mother-daughter makeover winners. And speaking of weddings, there's a new movie uh, coming. Duncan. Hey!
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Great Day. Welcome, welcome. Well, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so if you've been watching the show, then you know our glam squad set out to do a mother-daughter makeover from head to toe. We're talking our makeup artist, our hairstylist, we have someone to style their clothes and professional pictures to mark the occasion. So the duo we chose is Brenda Popion and her daughter, Victoria Owens. Why did Victoria answer the call for this makeover package? Well, take a look. I nominated my mom because she likes to try to put on makeup, but she doesn't really know how. And one day she said, oh, I would really love to have a makeover. And we can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> we can't wait either. So let's start the makeover with the hair. Michael Kemper with Michael Kemper Salon had a plan for these two. I'm very excited about our makeovers today. First with Brenda. We had Brenda's hair in a ponytail and we cut it off. And we're gonna do some really exciting highlights for Brenda and we're gonna make a new look for her. And then we've got Victoria. Victoria's been just pulling her hair back slick. Ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. And we're gonna create something really exciting to come around her face that will enhance all of her cheekbones. But as always, You'll have to wait and see. All right, and we will find out at the end of the show. But please welcome Michael Kemper with Michael Kemper Salon to the show. Hi, how Hello are you, there. Deborah? Good. Good, good, good. Boy, you took your life into your own hands when you said she came in with a ponytail and we just cut it off. We did. We <laughs> cut it off that ponytail and to the floor it went. You love doing makeovers because, and every day actually, you get people who walk in and walk out with a smile on their face. You know, I'm so lucky with doing that. You're right. I love doing it. I love to be able to see someone look at themselves and believe again that they can be beautiful. Yeah, and the cool thing with you too, you've been doing this so long, you're an expert at it. When people come in, oftentimes we come in with the picture, right? And it's like, because I'm thinking if I got a Halle Berry haircut, I would look like her. Uh, it didn't happen, so I just moved on. But anyway, <laughs> people will come in with an idea of what they want, but you can gently coax them into what's best for their face shape. Absolutely. One of the things I've always believed in, you have to face it. Mm -hmm. And with doing that, you've got to decide what is your face shape and what will enhance that. And you've got to go with that. And you're totally right. We love pictures at the salon because it's a thousand words in one picture. But with that being said, we're able to say, are you looking at the face, the hair, the age? What are we looking at yeah, in that? Color, picture, all color. that type of stuff. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at some uh, typical face shapes. One is the heart shape. Uh, these are examples of, of starlets who have the heart shape. So explain what kind of haircuts look best for them. Well, on that heart shape, it comes in and you want to bring hair in around the face, right at the chin line. Mm -hmm. And that brings it in. Now, Holly Berry is an exception. She can be bald. To that. She, can, she is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. But she looks better, which you could see in that, in short hair. Okay. Uh, we have a model here, one of our audience members who woke up this morning just to be a member of the audience and got drafted to come down here to show an example of a heart face. Well, as you can see, it's, it's really, she's a perfect and a beautiful heart shape that you can see this shape comes right in as a heart, right to her chin. Yeah. And so she's truly doing probably one of the best things she can do with her hair of bringing it around bring it into this chin so she fills it in just a little so this doesn't look like it's such an angle right yeah. there. So, so having the a little bit more hair and filling in that space is really the best for the heart shape. Well, Sherry, you look beautiful. You're doing the right thing. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at some examples of starlets who have round faces. All right. And this Kristen is Dunst. obviously, to me, it's really important. The longer hair does look better. Yeah, yeah. The shorter hair just pops that cheek. The thing you have to decide with a round face is to understand making something bigger around it does not necessarily mean better. Yeah, so you balance out by a long You balance it out by a long line hair. and doing that. Okay, let's take a look over here. And we have a wonderful example today of a round face. And again, with this shape, bringing it back, and then it doesn't bring any attention to the fullness of the face. Okay. So that's really great that she's got this hair, she's bringing it back, and right from the back you see hair, but if we were to bring this down and try to do all of this, then that accentuates the face by putting hair right here on the apple of the cheek. So okay. this is really great. And if you have longer hair, just to bring that down straight, Deborah. Ah. So we have a line that then comes around the face and it cuts right into 
into the face. Yeah, okay, so not only how you cut it, but how you style it. How you style it. All right, let's take a look at uh, a square face. Oh, yes, uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. He doesn't only have square pants, he's got a square face. Okay, <laughs> okay, not really. All right, <laughs> here we go. Well, that is truly the optimate face, a square face. Actually, for photographs, you actually have a square jawline and a face. Oh, and okay. for that, it's the best photograph face. So lots of stars, lots of people who are photographed do very well with the square face. Yeah. And we really have a great example of this because, as you can see, this comes down, this jawline is very square and comes across. And again, with that, she's lucky that she can wear something that comes right underneath. And this hairstyle is great for you because instead of hitting her right here at the jawline, it's coming right right into the neck, which that accentuates this square and really makes it one of the most photographic faces there is. Yeah, all right. We're talking uh, cut and style. Now, let's talk a little bit about color. I know it's like, you know, every spring and every fall something new comes out. Is it something new or just a variation of shades? Well, I think it's really a variation of shades. Mm -hmm. I think color really boils down to what's best for your skin tone. And where a lot of people make a mistake, Deborah, is they'll go too many shades off of their own skin tone. Right, right. In other words, if you are a natural brunette, to go to platinum blonde is pretty serious. If you want to look natural, you just go two to three levels either direction. All I want to do is get rid of my natural gray. That's all. Well, if we do that, we know how to do that. That's for That's sure. True. That's for sure. We call that highlights. Highlighting. Natural highlights. But the real trend today is to have pop color, okay. especially for the young people. Yeah. To have a color that pops, that does something that really makes them feel special yeah. instead of it being like the sun did it. And if you have dark hair and you're insisting on something lighter, sometimes it's better to go in and just do some highlights some that way. Some highlights, or if you have dark hair and you're really wanting something that's lighter, think red. Red is a fabulous way to do something with a brunette yeah. to make you feel Melissa like you Melissa and Rosalie just looked different. at each other and they went, see yeah, girl. See, we got that we red. Yeah, yeah. We've got that red going. <laughs> <laughs> and almost everybody can wear a form of red, but the key is what shade. What shade of red, absolutely. And that's, of course, thank goodness where we as professionals come in. Yeah. That, you know, drugstore color doesn't always work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the lighter you go away from your hair color, the more often you probably should get in to keep it absolutely, conditioned. Absolutely, because the lighter you go, the orange you're you may get. <laughs> <laughs> or you may not have any hair left at all. Oh, okay. Right on. Well, Michael, thank you very much. I will let you know that Michael has a special deal for great day viewers. From now until Mother's Day, purchase a gift certificate and get 20% off. And if you want to book an appointment, <laughs> if you want to book an appointment at the Michael Kemper Salon so the team can work their magic on you, you can log on to KemperSalon.com or give them a call at this number, 713-877-1645. 713-877-1645. And before uh, we round out this segment, I uh, want you to let people know, when we say purchase a gift certificate, it's not just all about hair in your salon. Oh, no, no. It's we a have spa. a whole spa. We have makeup of the Christy Harris Boutique mm -hmm. Playground, which is fabulous. And we'll see them in a minute. Yes, yeah. that's fabulous. Massages. And then massages manicures, pedicures, facials. We do it all and we really enjoy the fact that someone can come in and leave glamorous. Yeah, so this could be a great, if not for you, a great Mother's Day gift. So get the certificate. Oh, it's a great gift because, in. you know, let's face it, everyone, and I'm, I am obviously want you to come in, but the reality is, is mom doesn't need another tchotchke to just put out. Yeah. If you, <laughs> the reality of that is, is there's nothing like a little self-beauty and feeling better yeah. about and yourself. And again, you don't have to go to several different places. You can go no. there, get the massage, One get your hair shop. done, get your hair colored, get your everything done. All right, Michael, thank you very thank much. You, and by the way, they're located in High Village just above Escalante so you can like you know go downstairs get a little bit to eat a little bit to drink <laughs> come on up get all your stuff done all right we'll see you a little bit later on all right. and we'll see our mom daughter makeover a little bit later on in the show but coming up next the next stop for our mother daughter team the makeup the Christy Harris Beauty Playground provides everything you need for flawless skin and she has tips on how to keep the makeup fresh in hot humid Houston <laughs> Everybody. A full makeover never looks fully polished until the makeup is done. It's the icing on the cake. So what did our mother-daughter makeover winners have done? Well, Craig Ferguson with Christy Harris Beauty Playground gives us his ideas of what they needed to achieve a flawless face. With our makeovers today, we have Brenda and Victoria. With the very first thing you have to do when you start a makeover 
is create a smooth, flawless canvas. So with Brenda, we're going to create smooth, flawless canvas with doing her foundation first. That way, when Michael does her hair color, he can know what undertones are, and that way it's not uneven, and he'll get the correct color for her hair, okay? And then on um, Victoria, I'm going to really work with her beautiful eyes and make those pop today. But you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what happens later. All right. To and we have Christy Harris right now hey. with us with uh, Christy Harris Beauty Playground. So uh, we saw the, the issues that the, the mother daughter had, and when you get a hold of them, they're no longer issues. <laughs> you just tell exactly. Them how to handle it. I mean, it's there's no such thing as an unattractive woman. It's just someone who hasn't been trained, and we just don't know what we don't know that can make us more beautiful. Right. So we're and going... the technology in the makeup. Exactly. That's the difference too. And, and the things that you can do yourself at home and get results, professional results. Yeah. So we've we captured still one of our audience members here. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on a primer. It's it's called under base, but it has a little tint in it. Yeah. This is a step a lot of us just skip. Exactly. But in humid Houston, it's important. It, you have to make sure. I mean, you know, I, I live in Dallas, and it's not as humid here, ladies. Yeah. But you guys have to really worry <laughs> yeah. about keeping your foundation on all day. So what I'm doing, and you may think, you know, this looks kind of weird because it looks so light. But how many times has it? Have you tried to find a foundation in a bottle and it matched, just like one color? It's it's impossible. So what you want to do, and this is a secret to getting a flawless face, is this is called face erase, and basically you apply this to even out the skin tone. And then if you wanted to use self tanner or you get darker, then you put the liquid bronzer on top. So you never have to change foundation colors, and you just add your bronzer. So if you get darker, you add more. If you're not as dark, you add less, and you can get that perfect, perfect match. And another trick, uh, I'm kind of the fix-it person, <laughs> is to take moisture lotion so you don't have to take your foundation down to your neck area, and you blend it in here so that you get rid of that little line. Ah, okay. That's a good trick. You know, and that way you don't get it on your clothes. Yeah. Makeup can be so much fun if you know what to do. What's What's so sad is we, you know, unless you're really taught by a professional, you're frustrated. How many of you have a drawer full of stuff? Yeah. You know, yeah. and you're just That's like. That's the whole thing about the beauty playground. You yes. come in, you actually get your lessons. Right. You really get hands on, like, like uh, Craig McLemore is the director, and basically all of our lessons are designed with workbooks and everything so that you actually, he does one side of your face and you actually do the other. See what I'm doing here? You wonder how to get rid of those dark circles? This yeah. is called Smile Smoother. So she's going to look kind of funny until I get through. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to show you yet. <laughs> okay. Don't you like the fact that you left the house looking one way, you're going to go back with a full face? Yeah. I'm a or bit... half a face. Yeah, or half a face, yeah. <laughs> All I can say is date night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you usually wear makeup? I do, actually. I, I, I do wear a lot of makeup, and um, but I just, you know, since I've gotten my, uh, my hair done, I haven't really been doing it as often because it's like, well, I've kind of given up on it, so I'm really excited. So many yeah. women say that, and they're just so frustrated. What I did, you know, like if, and she doesn't need a facelift, but if I were to give her, if a surgeon was going to give her a facelift, they would lift her like this. Well, we're doing it, and it's called our faux facelift. It literally can take six to eight years off of a woman, and yeah. it's highlighting and, and contouring the face. So let's say when Michael was, you know, designing her hairstyle, she said she had more of a round face. So if we do want to sculpt that in, this is called contour. These are those tricks on the red carpet that celebrities learn. And yeah. when you get a lesson from us, you want to do this yourself because it is, I mean, it's so easy. Now look at that, look at that face. Oh, look wow. how it sculpted in. Let's, let's do a little Botox right here. Yeah. Why get the Botox? <laughs> See, we fan this up. So it's really amazing when you light the face the correct way and the difference that it can make. And then the setting powder, which can be important in humidity as well. Exactly. In fact, here, uh, this is a little area here. We always have this area where that blue blood vein is. Now look at this side and look at this side. Immediately. 
And then you may say, well, why, why won't my eyeshadow stay on all day? Or my eyelids are a little, you know, red or maybe broken capillaries. Well, this is called Eye Perma Stay. And it stays on and it keeps your eyeshadow from creasing. And it's also, this is all a uh, titanium dioxide. So it's a physical block so that you don't have to wear a sunscreen. So it's not, you know, you may think, oh, I don't want to wear a foundation, I want my skin to breathe. Well, it's gonna breathe anyway, yeah. ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then moving on to blush, Christy. I know that's another place where a lot of us get kind of confused. We either do something that's way too dense, or right. we really just want a hint of something. You just, you want to look like you pinched your cheeks. What I, I did, I uh, just went over with the finishing powder. See how that neutralizes her down now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, besides, yeah. And then with blush, I'm just going to take a really bright color, I call it golden peach. See the contouring of this brush? Knowing how to use brushes and brushes that are designed for your techniques make it goof proof. Yeah. So you place this right where we did that contour and we're just going to go right here. And you may go, oh well I never really knew where to put my blush. You put it over where your contour is and that gives you the same width. So when you try to match it over here, it balances. Everything is about lighting and contouring the face. Yeah, and you have all these products that you're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely, and we think beauty is affordable to everyone. Our prices are fabulous. They're affordable for teens, and and we do. We, you know, we design looks for young girls, for proms, for weddings, for any age. Yeah. Uh, and you really, we we understand your lifestyle. Let's. Let you take a little look here. And while she's doing that, uh, Christy, can you tell us about, there's a tip that you gave earlier that, oh, what do you think? Look at that, see how that's Oh, started. wow. Yeah. Oh. And we haven't even done the eyeshadow and no. stuff yet, so no. we're gonna have to finish oh, her wow. out. We'll I mean, finish you out before you. the end of the show. Um, with the brows but and all it. Yeah. Quickly, the, the tip on foundation, I know a lot of times people say, oh no, you want a water base. You want a water right. base. But water base can cause some issues, especially right. in the summertime. Right. And it just fall, it just drips off. And so when you put your makeup on, you need to put your moisture lotion on first, then your foundation has to lock in your moisture, and it should be a non-reflective base. Yeah, because otherwise your water important. evaporates, you're left with powder right. residue and right. it breaks uh, up in the face. I don't really like the mineral makeup or water base because it really, uh, you need an oil base but don't be scared that oil will clog you it won't if it's formulated right so it locks in your moisture and it stays on all day you never touch up your makeup ever when you're ever I mean you no, look you're as right good. I do I get home at night I look right. the same I, right in fact I thought about actually going to sleep with it on and waking up the next day just done but Christy thank you very much we'll thank see you, you later on and we'll great. finish your face for you <laughs> all right you. to book your makeup artistry lesson at the Christy Harris Beauty Playground log on to ChristyHarris.com they're located inside the Michael Kemper Salon in Highland Village, so you can get your hair and your makeup all done. All right, up next, from the salon to the shopping mall, our mother-daughter team gets styled up for spring. Welcome back, everybody. A full makeover never looks fully polished until the makeup is done. It's the icing on the cake. So what did our mother-daughter makeover winners have done? Well, Craig Ferguson with Christy Harris Beauty Playground gives us his ideas of what they needed to achieve a flawless face. With our makeovers today, we have Brenda and Victoria. With the very first thing you have to do when you start a makeover is create a smooth, flawless canvas. So with Brenda, we're going to create smooth, flawless canvas with doing her foundation first. That way, when Michael does her hair color, he can know what undertones are, and that way it's not uneven, and he'll get the correct color for her hair, okay? And then on Victoria, I'm going to really work with her beautiful eyes and make those pop today. But you're going to have to stay tuned to see what happens later. All right. And we have Christy Harris right now hey. with us with uh, Christy Harris Beauty Playground. So uh, we saw the, the issues that the, the mother daughter had, and when you get a hold of them, they're no longer issues. <laughs> you just tell exactly. Them how to handle it. I mean, it's there's no such thing as an unattractive woman. It's just someone who hasn't been trained, and we just don't know what we don't know that can make us more beautiful. Right. So we're and going... the technology in the makeup. Exactly. That's the difference too. And, and the things that you can do yourself at home and get results, professional results. Yeah. So we've we've captured still one of our audience members here. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on a primer. It's it's called under base, but it has a little tint in it. Yeah. This is a step a lot of us just skip. Exactly. But in humid Houston, it's important. It, you have to make sure, I mean, you know, I, I live in Dallas, and it's not as humid here, ladies. Yeah. But you guys have to really worry <laughs> yeah. about keeping your foundation on all day. So what I'm doing, and you may think, you know, this looks kind of weird because it looks so light, 
But how many times has it, have you tried to find a foundation in a bottle and it matched, just like one color? It's, it's impossible. So what you want to do, and this is a secret to getting a flawless face, is this is called Face Erase. And basically you apply this to even out the skin tone. And then if you wanted to use self tanner or you get darker, then you put the liquid bronzer on top. So you never have to change foundation colors. And you just add your bronzer. So if you get darker, you add more. If you're not as dark, you add less. And you can get that perfect, perfect match. And another trick, uh, I'm kind of the fix-it person, <laughs> is to take moisture lotion so you don't have to take your foundation down to your neck area and you blend it in here so that you get rid of that little line. Ah, okay. Oh, that's a good trick. You know, and that way you don't get it on your clothes. Yeah. Makeup can be so much fun if you know what to do. What's what's so sad is we, you know, unless you're really taught by a professional, you're frustrated. How many of you have a drawer full of stuff? Yeah. You yeah. know, and you're just that's like the cool thing about the beauty playground. Yes. You come in, you actually get your lessons. Right. You really get hands on like like a uh, Craig McLean more is the director and basically all of our lessons are designed with workbooks and everything so that you actually he does one side of your face and you actually do the other see what I'm doing here you wonder how to get rid of those dark circles this yeah. is called smile smoother so she's gonna look kind of funny until I get through <laughs> yeah we're not gonna show you yet <laughs> okay. don't you like the fact that you left the house looking one way you're gonna go back with a full face yeah or half a face yeah or half a face yeah <laughs> all I can say is date night tonight yeah <laughs> Now, do you usually wear makeup? I do, actually. I, I, I do wear a lot of makeup, and um, but I just, you know, since I've gotten my, uh, my hair done, I haven't really been doing it as often because it's like, well, I've kind of given up on it. So I'm really excited. So many yeah. women say that, and they're just so frustrated. What I did, you know, like if, and she doesn't need a facelift, but if I were to give her, if a surgeon was going to give her a facelift, they would lift her like this. Well, we're doing it, and it's called our faux facelift. It literally can take six to eight years off of a woman, and yeah. it's highlighting and, and contouring the face. So let's say when Michael was, you know, designing her hairstyle, she said she had more of a round face. So if we do want to sculpt that in, this is called contour. These are those tricks on the red carpet that celebrities learn. And yeah. when you get a lesson from us, you want to do this yourself because it is, I mean, it's so easy. Now look at that, look at that.